was born in Longreach, Queensland. We then moved to New South Wales and I was educated in Canberra. We lived on a, on a property some distance, 90 miles from anywhere. So I had a, when my brothers went to boarding school, I had a governess. You didn't go to boarding school? Not till I went to Canberra. Then I went to boarding school. And that's where I met Patrick's mother. If I did anything other than live in the country, it would be nursing. I had about three either cousins or aunts who were trade nurses and they were very admirable people, so I thought that would be a good thing. And uh, I couldn't do it, go immediately because uh, I helped it at home during the war years. But as soon as the war years ended, uh, I escaped. <laughs> I was a country girl. So after graduation, where did you go to? Where did you move to? I went home. We were living in, uh, in the Warren district at that stage. Had a small property there. And I actually, I've never gone, I've never looked, asked or looked for a job. That's what they always wanted me. Mm. <laughs> and when my f friends heard that I was home from Prince Alfred, they made haste to get across to the 19, I think it was 19 bed hospital to say, can you, can you relieve me next to so-and-so because I want to go on holidays. So I just moved in there. Mm. After Warren, where are two from Warren? Well, I went back, went down to Melbourne. Melbourne? Mm -hmm. How long were you in Melbourne? Ten years, I think it was. And I, once again, a um, dermatologist was looking for me or for a trained nurse. And I just, friends of mine knew this man and I just fell into that job. I didn't mean to do that because a dermatologist is not very exciting. However, I had uh, an elderly mother that I cared for and um, it, the hours suited me to look after her and to work at the same time. So I went to work for Dr. Lemprier for 10 years. I liked Sydney. I had many friends, I knew the place well, and uh, it, it was, Melbourne I was quite happy, but it was time I made a change, and it just happened that way. I had no idea what I was going to do, because working in doctor's rooms puts you out of touch with what goes on in the hospitals in those four or five years. And uh, I said to, to another nursing friend, in the, who was in the Mossman area, Gar uh, Phil Garnsey. Uh, I'll have to go and do a refresher course or something. And, and she said, oh, try, try the, 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 what did they call it in those days? Not Mossman community. Yes. Yes. And, uh, oh, I said, what, are, what, do they do, what do they do there? Oh, occasional appendix and that sort of thing, much the same as to do at Warren, really. So I went along with lovely references and everything, met the matron, and I said I was here and I'd like to do some relieving work if I could. Oh, good. She said, can you start tomorrow? <laughs> so <laughs> I didn't have to produce my <laughs> papers or anything. I was in. <laughs> And there I stayed. I was only meant to be there for a few months. But I settled in and I uh, bought my unit in Mossman. Here I am. But you, you saw something at, at Mossman that kept you here. What was it? Well, it was... After you, after you spend four or five years, as you do, or did in those days, with friends, like doing gillies, 
and others. Um, you, you work together, you, it's just like a family or it was in those days. You lived in, you weren't allowed to be, live out. And uh, you had to get a late pass once a week if you wanted to be really you know, tough. <laughs> I told you about the circular staircase, didn't I? So that was 100 years old in 1971. Yes. They took the staircase out, they yes. took, it, took it away. And the lift right. went in, the, in that area too, because <laughs> we, we were carrying the patients on the stretchers from the theatre. Oh, up, up these stairs? Up the up staircase on, on, on occasions. The whole thing. It's a wonderful network. We often, we're still the best of friends. These, a lot of these, these girls were 18 when they started there. And uh, of course I was ahead of that, older. <laughs> we then became a family around the hospital, in the hospital. So we, she was getting to the point, I guess she's 91 and a half now, and uh, we are getting to a point where she was getting a little frailer and, and the ability to sustain herself in her apartment was becoming a little questionable. And uh, unfortunately, um, she ended up going to Royal North Shore Hospital uh, at short notice. And uh, as a result of that, and uh, going through the ACAT assessment process, um, where it was, realised that it wasn't safe for her now to return to her apartment and live on her own. Uh, it was now a matter of how do we step up the home care, what do we do? And uh, as a result of that, she came here to Glengarry. Her area, local area, where she was, um, where people had come to visit her in her apartment, uh, were able to come and visit her here because they knew where it was. Uh, it was also, given her location, it, she knew Mossman Hospital, so there was a strength in, a strength in that as well. Um, and given the apartment she lived in was 49 stairs from top to bottom, no lift, and, uh, and she lived on the top floor, and she could manage the stairs, but her friends, as they were getting older, were getting to the point of not being able to handle the stairs, so in effect you were starting to get some social isolation. So the way to overcome that was to, um, once we got through that ACAT assessment, was, uh, and a vacancy came up here, so we came here in September and then she became permanent in December. 